All right, as you guys can see, our new shop is a little bit in shambles as of current, but we got Bailey's truck in the shop. We got my Bronco in the shop. We got some Alpharex headlights in the shop. So we're gonna get these unboxed, rip these front ends apart, get these installed, and see what they look like. Let's go. New from Alpharex, we have their Nova series headlights for the 21 and up Broncos. We're gonna unbox these, we're gonna install them, see what they look like on the truck. Let's get into it. That was a lot of work. Shoot him, pull, crack the jack, take off now. All right, so as you guys can see, this is a four projector system. I'm assuming it's similar to factory where it's going to have two for the high beam, two for the low beam. Um, and then you've got the daytime running light around the outside as well with the strip down the middle, which will be a super big upgrade for me on my base model, which doesn't have this. That's the part I'm most looking forward to in addition to the extra light output. Come on now, mama. Ain't nothing here so big. You got fast cars, movie stars, party on down the street with Mary Jane. All right, so you have four projectors in here, two for the high beams, two for the low beams. You also have the daytime running light in here as well, which is going to light up white. And it's sequential for when you hit the blinkers, they kind of do a little stroby thing. I think you're going to need to take the plastics off on these two to put the white ones on here, unless you want to have black headlight plastics on your white truck. Okay, good luck, man. Best man win. I have one bolt in my headlights so. out. <laughs> So I totally forgot that I'm also wiring these in at the same time. So there's extra wires and shit that I'm plugging in right now. That's what this harness is. These are also daytime running lights slash sequentials. So they plug into the headlights and there's like five different harnesses that run off of that then. So doing all that at the same time, but we'll get this one headlight plugged in and go from there. Is it connected to this? That's the issue right now. GM puts a bolt down here. Can't get through the itself without breaking them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I cannot fit this in there. I need a smaller 10 mil. Trace, you're filming him more than me. This isn't fair. Oh, thank God. So, yeah, we got her. Now the headlight is on. Oh, that's cool. Trace. Oh, shit. Ah. There's too much going on for me. I just opened the door. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. I literally have circles in my eyes right now. <laughs> that's not even my headlight. Dude, that's so fire. Let's go. Here's Gary. Gary's the guy. I'm the guy. Doing stupid Gary things, because that's all stupid Gary does is stupid Gary stuff. Stupid Gary. <laughs> The good thing is this whole truck is aluminum, so I can just bend it to get shit to fit. Yeah. Take those off. Did you have to heat gun it or what? No. Okay, Trace, I think I'm ready to test this out. What'd you do? Peel it off? Yes. Before I get too far, I want to just make sure that the headlights work, the running lights work, all that shit. Why four more times? Oh, because I have to take the old ones off too. Ah, that's loud. This is why you buy a Ford, folks. Okay. Oh, so they all come on, okay. So what do my brights look like then, ready? What happens, do they just get brighter for the brights then? Holy crap, dude. Yes, that's so dope. So good. For a base model truck to have headlights like that now, oh, dude, Alpha X killed these, let's go. What? What? I'm struggling. Oh. 
We are still swapping out the face plates because I have a white truck. You already had it. Happens to be where the 3M tape is doubled up. They came with black face plates. Oh. Hey. Oh. So I am disassembling all the black ones, swapping on the white covers. This all matches the truck. Now they're like all of a sudden like, oh, wheels and tires, huh? First done. Said number. Scroll down to suggested uses and number 39. So you looks at it and goes, Whoa, what's number 39? Miscellaneous ignition. Why are you adding a harness to your headlights? Ask Danny. It makes my daytime running lights brighter. It should, in theory. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did it for a second. Yeah. Is the fuse in? Yeah. Is it sequential right now? It's not for sequential, it's for the daytime running light. Would you listen? Yeah, but I, the fuse is in. <laughs> did I put the bottom thing back on, on this one? Yeah. No. Maybe I don't know if I pull it out. No. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't. I got it, Bailey. Good. Appreciate you. Wait. Uh, Wait. No. Wait. Okay. Do you want to go to your home? You got them little baby wrists. Where are the bolts to the side? Oh, it's in here. Okay, yeah, keep the Gary, my computer's making funny noises. You good? That's all you get. So there's actually four different light styles you can do. So you can basically do any combination you want. Um, I just want to do the all white. I've got the amber clearance grill Raptor light things anyway. So I kind of want everything else whited out. This is what it looks like then just with the DRL zone. All white, but super cool that LFRX has that, so you can kind of mess the wiring on the back and change them to any color combo that you want with the white and orange for the ring and the light. Alrighty, it's pulled now it's dark. I can show you what these headlights look like. So that's just me hitting the unlock button. Boom. All right, we'll take these on the road then and I can show you what the light output is like. Uh, it's phenomenal to say the least. So I suppose I can turn off my fog lights so just so you guys probably hate me. That's my fog lights on and off, on, off. Honestly, I think if I even just turn my DRLs on, so like you can kind of tell. That's just with my DRLs on. They're already like as bright as factory headlights. That's just DRLs, so obviously you can't really see anything. And then that's just headlights. Add the fog lights in, and then I got my spots too. I calculated it on one of the back roads and I can see about like a third of a mile down the road with all of my lights on and my uh, high beams, which is cool. So we can show you those too. These headlights are just so good. You don't need the bright switch. I'm okay with. I do get flashed a couple times though. Okay. Oh, there we go. High beams on, high beams off. So yeah, overall I'd say install went great. Super easy, super quick. Quality, fantastic. Uh, it's freezing here in Wisconsin, quite literally, and have had zero issues with these. Uh, functionality, great. Looks, great. Performance, great. If you've made it this far into the video and you haven't picked yourself up a set of Alpha X headlights for your truck yet, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, because I am overly happy with these. Huge shout out to Danny with Alpha X for 
getting us these to kind of do a review on as uh, it's a brand new product that came in. As soon as they dropped for SEMA, I had my eyeballs on them and I couldn't be happier. That's all we got for you guys. Make sure you subscribe for more. Later.